All right, now we're doing eight cube get number from strings by which you 93% of the people like it. We're gonna write a function which removes from a string all non-digit characters and parses them into a remaining, parses the remaining stuff into the number, into a number, all right. So it's gonna be something like this and we're gonna get 56 at the end, all right. So to do this, we're going to use the replace method, all right? The replace method uh, returns a new string with some or all matches of a pattern replaced by a replacement. The pattern can be a string or regex, and the replacement can be a string or a function called for each match, right? So we're gonna use some regex like this here, and we're just gonna replace it with a, with a string. Uh, and the string, instead of being like monkey or anything like that, we're just gonna be, it's just gonna be the spaces in between the characters. So the quick draw, okay, so look, it takes dog right on out of it, All right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say uh, s dot replace. And for the regex, we're gonna use this character class down here, capital D with a uh, slash, and it matches any character that is not a digit, and that's it, all right, so. Do you like that? And then we're also gonna have to use this, uh, let me show you, this global search right here, this G on the outside of it, just so it hits every single one of them. All right. So then we're gonna replace it with the spaces in between the characters, like just like that. All right, so now that's gonna take care of that, but let me show you it's still a string. So to turn it back into a number, we're gonna use this unary plus operator, which uh, precedes the operand and then evaluates it to its operand, but attempts to convert it into a number. So that's the main thing, convert it to a number right there. So we put a plus sign in front of that, test it out. All right, good. Attempt it, there we go, submit it. And let's see my solutions. There we go, just a few of us. Best practice in my opinion. I very much like this, and we'll see you next time.